My name is Pete Thomas, and I am um, a motivational speaker and the owner of WinningMan.com, former contestant on NBC's The Biggest Loser. I lost over 185 pounds in just nine months, and here today to motivate people uh, in terms of motivating their employees. We really want employers and, and everyone to really understand some of the key points when it comes to, to motivating their employees and making uh, systematic and, and lifestyle change in their employees. So I had a great time so far this morning. My keynote speech was fun. It was brief, 30 minutes. Uh, I hope it was high enough energy. First thing in the morning, eight o'clock in the morning, the audience was, seemed to, to be really receptive. Uh, but hopefully, you know, we'll hear great things about it afterwards. You know, I think the key thing is not what you hear at the conference, but what you're able to take away and apply. And so we talked to about a few different things. So talked about motivation, inspiration, education, and perspiration. You know, those are kind of the things that I uh, believe in and that I try to get across to people. And uh, so hopefully, you know the crowd took away some of those things and are able to take them back to their companies and to apply those things in their health and wellness programs. You know I think it's really beneficial for uh, companies to provide an atmosphere of health and wellness for uh, really employees they need structure they need help when it comes to health and wellness and the first line uh, almost the, the, the first place that employees can get that is by having healthy workplaces you know or, or workplaces that have fruits and vegetables available alongside of all the bad foods, uh, a workplace that has a gym available, those things are all great. And then of course, dealing in society that's so big on technology, having virtual programs or virtual mentors as well as on-site mentors can really help employees to make fundamental changes uh, in the way that they think about food, that they, in the way that they think about eating, in the way that they think about health and wellness. So I think it's essential that employees here in America really change the way we think because uh, every minute of the day can't be consumed with work even though work is primary for many of us because it provides employment, provides income for us to take care of our families and do the things that we want. Uh, it really is essential for employees uh, all over America to really think, okay, while I'm here, how can I also better my health? And I think in many ways the employer can help with that because uh, a more healthy employee will add to the bottom line of, of the employer. The best way for employers to impact their employees' health is in three areas. Really, it comes to the mind side of I call it master your mind. If an employer can help an employee to get a handle on the whole health and wellness thing to begin with, that's going to help. And you do that by having some form of education, education regarding food choices, education regarding uh, your exercise choices. That's going to be key. And then to go along or to coincide with that, having some teamwork, you know, setting up teams of people that are really focused on, say, losing weight or smoky cessation, whatever it may be, that's going to be critical. And then from there, having, you know, good food available. I call it managing your mouth. Having food available in the cafeteria or in, in the common areas, not just bad food, but good healthy food, you know, simple things like apples or grapes or any of those types of things that are simple snacks that are readily available, not just packaged goods, you know, they, they have a common term for them, they're called the white poisons, sugar, salt, and flour. Not having all those sugary foods around, not having all those salty foods around, or, or a, a bunch of fried foods. And if you're going to have them, have them alongside of the healthy choices so that people, once they're educated can then begin to make healthy options. And then of course uh, the last thing I call is master, uh, I'm sorry, multiply your muscle. Uh, if employers can have a place for employees to work out or encourage working out. You know, even if it if it's something as simple as, hey, you know, five times around the building equals a mile and let's have a competition who can walk the most miles this week. That's a good start. That's a very good start. And of course, on-site wellness facilities, any of those things, the, the more healthy the employee is, you know, I just believe the, the, the more healthy the bottom line will inevitably be. You know, for me, losing weight, it, it's interesting. I have to tell it in a story my experiences in a story, I remember recently I was just out running errands, you know, and I, I was like, okay, I have five or six different errands, and I, by the time I got through it all my errands, I ran like seven different errands, just, you know, going from this place to that place and doing this to that and the other, and then the last errand, it was something as simple as cleaning out my car. I needed to clean out my car, and I realized in the midst of this last errand of the day that before, when I was 416 pounds and 50% body fat, I would not have gotten through three errands because I would have been so physically exhausted, physically tired, that I would have just said, never mind, forget it. 
And so that's really, people don't understand when you're carrying a lot of extra weight, you really, it's, it's like carrying a person around on your back. And so how much work can you get done? Get, how much work can you get done when you're carrying an extra person around with you? You know, I lost 185 pounds. I like to tease and say, you know, I lost the Olsen twins, you know? So imagine carrying them around with you all day. And it's that same thing in the work environment. Um, Cardio, cardiovascular exercise has been known to really uh, stimulate the mind. It, it helps with the endorphins and serotonin levels, and so uh, you can be more functional uh, as an employee if you're if you're more healthy and fit. Uh, when you are uh, having all carrying all that extra weight, not only are you dealing with the stresses of the workday, but literally that how is that stress affecting you? You know, my blood pressure was 150 over 90 at one time. Went down to 102 over 60, which is about where it ranges today. Actually, my latest result from the doctor, I think it was uh, 110 over 50. You know, so uh, that uh, my blood pressure is, is in excellent shape. My resting heart rate was 89 beats a minute. Now, the last last time I was at the doctor, doctors calculated it at 57 beats a minute. You know, so the the way that I feel about myself is not just an external thing. Uh, but it's an internal thing. My body is functioning so much better. All my blood cholesterol levels and all that. So that's one less thing I have to worry about, which means I can spend more time focused on the things that I love to do, which is motivating others, which is my business, motivating others and teaching others. And so that same corollary can be made for employees in the workplace. If your employee, employee is healthier, then he can spend more time taking care of the company's business. He can spend more time, and not just the time he's spending taking care of the business will be more, but the quality of the time that the employee is there at the desk or in the work environment, it will be greatly improved as well. Absolutely, you know, if you're feeling better about yourself, you are definitely going to be more confident and you're gonna feel better about what you're doing. And we're in a creative society. And so creativity, if you feel better about the creative work and your ability to put in long hours, you know, that's just going to go directly to the bottom line. And so you, it, it, it can't be overstated how powerful it is to, you know, to really to be in great health. Oh, you know, I think the Congress is just an amazing opportunity for people to come and not only learn, but network. You know, these things go hand in hand. I was listening a little while, a little while ago to a speaker from Microsoft, and he was sharing some of the things that they do to encourage wellness and health with their employees. And I just thought, this where else can you get this? I mean, you can have your own ideas about health and wellness, but to be able to learn from other companies who are just like doing gangbuster things. You know, I, I made a statement that people will jump through fire for a t-shirt as an incentive. And they talked about in their corporate, uh, environment. What's really worked for them is to have people who are motivated by going out into the community and doing things. And so, I, I mean, it's just amazing to be able to come here and learn these different things, not just, you know, from uh, the person up on stage, but the other person who may be sitting right in the same row as you. You know, where else can you get that?